Hello, I'm Court Beauvais. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss social media and electronic communication by taking a look at the Artisan Flavors Ice Cream Shop, a recently opened and independently owned ice cream store with the ice cream made right on the premises. This is an example of how a new business is using the social media and electronic communication tools that we discuss in the textbooks that John Thill and I write. At the end of the presentation, I'm going to tell you how you can obtain complimentary classroom materials for teaching social media and electronic communication. Using YouTube and Vimeo, which are known as user-generated content sites, the owner has posted videos of him making his unique flavors of ice cream, including cherry pepper chocolate truffle, mint licorice delight, and peach mango apricot. Using iTunes, he's posted podcasts describing how to make specialty desserts with his ice cream, including using his peach mango apricot layered with white cake and whipped cream. Using PR Newswire to make announcements, such as the grand opening of his store, the start of his new blog, and a donation of ice cream to support a local charity. Using Google Maps in conjunction with the store's website, so people can find their way to the store. Using Flickr, another user-generated content site, to post photos of the grand opening, including pictures of the store owner with local elected city officials and many local residents. Using Twitter to post status updates about events occurring in the owner's daily life that other people might find interesting, including when a local grade school made a field trip visit to see how ice cream is made, when the mayor stopped by for a scoop, and when he sold his 10,000th scoop of ice cream. Using Facebook, on which he set up both a personal page and a business page, more than 400 people have liked his business page. Numerous comments have been made on its wall, including requests for new flavors. He's also posted videos to his Facebook page taken in the kitchen, and a list of upcoming events, such as a summer celebration week, for which people can download a coupon. Buy one scoop, get one free. Using a blog, he's listed it in major blog directories to get attention. Got to mention in his local online newspaper, and write something in it at least once a day that he thinks his readers will find interesting such as the workshop he attended at the National Ice Cream Association about how to determine and cater to local tastes. Using Yelp, his business is listed, and he watches it regularly for customer comments. Someone recently posted a negative comment about his closing the store early one evening, and he responded by explaining he needed some plumbing work done when the business was closed, so he closed a little early one evening so that the work could be completed. Other tools he's considering using in the future include online presentations, such as SlideShare, where you can create a PowerPoint presentation for anyone to see on how he makes his ice cream. A customer service site, such as CrowdSound, where he could easily gather customer feedback. Users can comment, collaborate, and vote on his website. Collaboration software, once he opens additional stores, he may need a platform for capitalizing on his employees' creativity, and they could be part of a discussion. This could be especially helpful in streamlining ideas from employees from how to improve store operations to developing new flavors. For live casting special events from the store, he could use Ustream TV. For store events, Zevents, which is an online service for promoting local events. And for communicating with employees and customers with texting, instant messaging, and video conferencing for free, there's Yahoo Messenger, Google Talk and Video Chat, or Skype. Keep in mind that this owner has never spent any money on traditional advertising and has no plans to ever do so. He gets all of his business through the use of social media, which is a demonstration of the power of the new social communication model my co-author and I discuss in all our textbooks. While other texts are still stuck in the 1990s with their overemphasis on paper-based documents, three books on the market integrate social media and electronic communication throughout the text. For examination copies, call 800-526-0485 or go to Bove and Thill's business communication blog for easy ordering information. Also, by going to the web address shown here, look under bonus materials. You'll see a link titled Social Media and Electronic Communication Classroom Edition. This is a PowerPoint presentation you can use in the classroom for teaching your students about social media and electronic communication. While there, you'll also see a link teaching social media and electronic communication. I suggest you download both sets of PowerPoints. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me using the Contact Us form on the website shown here.